Well, I don't really know if I'm going back anywhere because you can't really go back. Why did you want it so badly to that, that new, new, new page, the blank page? I think it's got to do with me. Uh, this is. I wish I could give you the reasons for that. There's three or four, could be, but the essential reasons are a bit mysterious. I have no idea why I'm so charged, why I'm so energetic and so engaged with music just now, because in theory I shouldn't be. 50, you'll be a bit tired. You've done it all. What do you care? Why do you want to go to a shitty club and, and, and starve? Uh, uh, why would you want to do that? Why, why would you want to risk anything? I have no option, I just, this is what I do. I'm a creative person, I make music. When I make it, I need to play it live. If I play to 10,000 people, that's great. If I play to 100, that's great. What's important is that we put it over great. And, and uh, that's, that's who I am, it's what I love doing. You were talking about going back to the beginning, uh, starting a new page, blank page. But in, in what way are you really going back to your, maybe your roots of who you are and what kind of music you really are? Well, I don't really know if I'm going back anywhere, because you can't really go back. But you can... You can think on what it might be like, what it might have been like back then. And, and when the Lost Boy music first started to appear, there was something in the first four or five songs that was taking... I could hear it in the music. There was an atmosphere, there was a, an approach, there was a a conviction in it, in it that reminded me of, first of all, the music I liked in the period when I was a young man, or still a boy. And, and it made me think about that music, but it also made me start thinking about the character as well of who I was then and what I liked and what I didn't like and, and what I thought the world was about. And, and, and I've got, I had no fucking idea, but, but excuse me. I had no uh, idea, but, but I thought I had an idea. And that's what, um, so Lost Boy's coming out of this, um, um, it's all in his head. Are you a nostalgic person? In general, I'm not a nostalgic person. That's, that's another uh, um, irony here. I'm really not, even with the simple minds when people ask us to go back and do things. Recently, we did kind of concede and we did a 30th anniversary tour, but anyone would tell you that I'm not, I don't keep anything, I don't have a photograph, I don't have any, any memorabilia, I, I, I have nothing. I don't carry, I don't carry stuff around with, with, with me, unless in a case like this a memory is trapped and then I find I have a good memory or, or I can recall a conversation in a diner in Philadelphia and who said what and, and what it was about, then I have a good recall, but not nostalgia in the sense of Willful nostalgia, but to be honest, if you have a story, if you have a life, if you have experiences, um, it's hard not to escape looking back after a certain point. Okay. If you look back to that boy when you were young, maybe 18, 19 or maybe younger, what kind of person do you see then? Um, certainly within the context of where I lived, Glasgow, industrial, working class, I didn't stand out, and I wasn't loud, but I dressed differently, I looked different, I listened to music that no one at school, was, or very few at school was listening to. I had an appetite for, on one hand, I, I was interested in how Celtic won on Saturday, but on Saturday night I would go and see uh, some avant-garde theatrical so I could be a corner street boy, or I could be uh, a pretentious, uh, um, um, arty, uh, um, pseudo, somewhere in between both.